Okay, so if we look at those um, fundamental ideas, we can bring out what we can do with them. Um, so let's bring it all together to give you a really basic secure message delivery example. Um, so the setup, I wanna email or mail my friend a message. I wanna do it securely so they know it's from me and no one else can read it on the way. Um, so what do we do? We make a message um, that I want to send to my friend. Uh, so this is the email I'm sending to my friend. Um, step one, we wanna get confidentiality, right? So we're gonna use an encryption algorithm. Um, we don't care what it is. I'm gonna take that message and I'm gonna encrypt it. And now nobody in the way can figure out what I, what I actually wrote here. Um, this is encrypted with some special mashing keyboard algorithm. Um, it doesn't mean, you know, someone can't delete it or change part of it on the way because we don't have a way for them to, to validate that the message made it there unmodified. Um, so step two is we're going to add integrity and we're going to do that with a hash algorithm. Um, so I'm going to take this whole message, right, put it through a hash algorithm such as SHA-1 and you can do some of these real ones if you want online. Um, and we're going to get a smaller hash um, uh, output. So I get this SHA-1 hash of it. Um, so if my friend calculates that same hash, they know the message was unmodified. Um, finally, we need for them to authenticate and verify that it was us. Um, so the, the message integrity is, is insufficient because we need a way for them to know that the message actually came from us as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a digital signature operation. So I'm going to take just the hash, right? So they don't sign the full message normally. We only sign the hash of the message. And I'm going to sign it. Um, and so this would mean my private key is involved. And my friend presumably has my public key already. They'll use to verify. Um, and I'm going to generate a digital signature, which is, again, just going to be some number. Um, that's, that basically can validate that this hash with my key generates this number and my friend can verify this. And then um, what I send to my friend is the message plus the signature. I don't actually send the hash because I don't need to, right? Because um, my friend is going to take my message here. They're going to perform the hash operation and they should hopefully recover that same hash, the SHA-1 hash. Um, they're gonna check if the di digital signature and the hash they calculated um, agree based on my known public key that they trust. Um, if they agree, that means that the message must not have been modified because the hash um, was calculated to be the same as the one I signed. Um, if that's all good, they could then decrypt the message. Um, and this order, by the way, so some of these orders could be switched, so you could decrypt the message and you could have signed the, um, the unencrypted message, which you may want to do um, depending if there's concern about people being able to modify the ciphertext. Um, but yeah, this is the general idea of the flow. And you can see how each of those um, features we brought in added something to um, our message sending process. And importantly, um, had different features that we needed in this in this itself so we had encryption algorithm um, we had a hashing algorithm and we had a, a signa digital signature operation so um, we're going to look at implementing or what's actually implemented in some of these various operations in the next sections